What's up, man? Congratulations on the victory and a fantastic finish. Was Thank that you. was that something you knew was there, or did it just present itself to you in the fight? Well, uh, you know, I, I see this guy like he's, this guy is kind of type of the the brawler guys. They you know when they throw like some wild punches, they expose his body, and I see it. You know. Where exactly did you hit him? Uh, the the uh, liver. Cool, nice. Well, fantastic finish. Was that one of your best in your career? Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, apart from the finish itself, how do you feel you performed during the fight, the whole thing? I think I, need, I can do better, and I need to keep training. I need, and you know, like, I feel like, I feel good, but it's not my best performance. So with that in mind, do you take a little bit of time, work at the gym, or do you want to... No, 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 I need to, to back, back right away, you know, I need to train in and, you know, like, like take another fight soon. When exactly would you like to fight? I don't care, like, soon. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is there anyone in mind? Do you have a name that you'd like to fight, or is it just... No, I don't care, like, if they pull me, like, I fight with everyone, you know, like, I don't have, like, a, I'm not that kind of fighter, like, I say, like, no at the fights, you know, like... If they offer me like one good, uh, a good fight, is I take it. You know, like nice. I'm Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on the win. Thank man. you. Talk a little bit about the game plan. Was it to try to keep the fight standing and make sure that he didn't get a chance to get it down onto the onto the mat? You know, like uh, I stick to my plan. Uh, I know this guy. He start like hard, like top. You know, he always go forward in the first round. And maybe in the second one, he, he wants to try to take me down, but I was ready for everything. But, you know, like, everything goes well, and I'm here. <laughs> coming into this one, uh, the last couple fights didn't go your way. Did you feel any extra pressure coming in this fight that you really needed to, to get that W tonight? Uh, like, like what? I don't understand. Well, just looking at the, the last uh, couple fights were losses. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes a fighter is going there a lot of times thinking the third's the one. If I lose a third, I might go. But did you have any of that pressure, or was it just staying no, focused on this fight? I'm staying focused on this fight. You know, like, like, like I just, I don't have a pressure for my all, like my last fights, or, or you know, like if I lose the rounds, I, I try to, to do my best in each round. You know, like that's it. So you're always constant think about what's what's going. On. You don't look too far back I in don't the look, past. Yes. Well, looking, looking ahead to 2021, uh, how active do you want to be? And, and what sort of goals are you setting for yourself well, in 2021? I want to be fighting. You know, like I want to fight soon and I need to be ready for everything. And I know you said that the fight could have went a little bit better out there. You weren't as happy with your performance. What sort of things are, are you thinking that you need to go back to the gym and, and kind of tweak? <laughs> I don't move my head. That's why he, he, he <laughs> caught me. You know, you can see my eyes. And, and I see the punch in and I don't move my head that you know like in in that's my my best thing like move my head and I feel like like some like stuck you know I don't know I don't <laughs> maybe it's the maybe it's the, the weather I don't know the cold I don't know <laughs> it kind of locked you in place yeah. a little bit what's funny well you know I hear sometimes uh, some of the Mexican boxers say they like to take a few head shots to, to kind of snap them into the fight did they did after taking a couple of those did they kind of really kind of wake you up and get you and get you going well, he he threw like three punches, and I, you know, like I wake up like until almost the last, you know, almost the last knee. <laughs> but I'm okay. Awesome, congratulations. Thank you. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, Gabriel? Hi. Hi. Congratulations on the win. Thank uh, you. I just wanted to speak to you a little bit about your kicking game because it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, is it true that you have some of the most powerful kicks in AKA? I don't know. Here's my coach. He can tell you. <laughs> right, Tomas? <laughs> I don't know. Like, people say, but we need to ask the fighters that are fight. you know? Well, it certainly looked like it from my end. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. In, in the post-fight, you mentioned you lost your boxing coach. Uh, did this happen during the training uh, for this fight? No, he passed away, like, last year. No, this year. <laughs> I don't know when I... Like, but it was, uh, I miss him a lot, you know, like, that's why I take these punches, because he was a really good boxer, uh, coaching, coach, and, and he always say, like, Mowgli, move your head, move your head, and, and that was, all, that always is, was the, the game plan, not, like, move my head and throw punches, <laughs> I need, I think, like, that, you know, like, 
this guy caught me because I don't move my head because I miss him and and it's different now the trainings with without without him and and but well I'm okay and I know my coach leaving my hand in my hands now and I don't have words to say you know like I have a new coach boxing uh, striking coach and I'm happy. Well, what was your late coach's name, and, and what do you think, besides move your head, he was told you? <laughs> Javier Carvajal, he was the name. Uh, he, was, uh, uh, he was from Colombia, and he was, I think he's the best belt boxing co- coach ever I met. <laughs> nice. And, uh, and the transition, uh, you're very happy with your new coach, obviously, with the win. Yes, I feel good. You know, like, we train a lot, and, and we always, like, stick to the plan you know like like he's a really good uh striker and uh, kickboxing guy and that's helped me a lot to throw more of my kicks <laughs> any celebration tonight uh just in my room i don't want if, if i if i go out i can i can i can back to my hotel to my hotel right <laughs> i need to stay in quarantine until i see my wife <laughs> congratulations thank you Gabriel, una última pregunta antes de que te vayas. Disculpa. Ah, felicidades con el triunfo, claro, por Gracias. Knockout. Me imagino que te van a dar tu premio del bonus, pero puedes explicarnos cómo encontraste ese ataque de la rodilla y cómo pudiste preparar a tu oponente para que recibiera ese golpe y lo pudieras finalizar. Pues, este, pues mi oponente es el, es el tipo de, bueno, con, uh, Justin James es el tipo de oponente que, que es uh, brawler, que siempre va para enfrente tirando volados y, 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 y siempre va hacia enfrente, ¿no? se cuadra al, al golpear, entonces este, como siempre iba tirando volados sin frente, ganchos, este, se, son del, del, del tipo de peleador que se expone mucho a, a, pues, el cuerpo, entonces ya lo había, a, ya lo había visto en... en, en, en en los primeros minutos cuando tiraba los, los volados que se encimaba entonces yo usé eso para capitalizar ok, de acuerdo, gracias claro, nos acabas de contar que no buscas tanto celebrar y esto y aquello pero ya sabes, la gente realmente tus fanáticos latinos es, quieren una, un tipo de respuesta entonces cuéntanos qué pronto debemos regresar a la jaula y un nombre o dos aunque no sea promesa nomás quién quieres ver en tu futuro ¿Y qué pronto debemos regresar en el octavo? Pues bueno, este, yo pienso regresar lo más, lo más pronto posible. Este, en cuanto me den pelea otra vez, vamos a regresar pronto. Y un hombre o dos, pues yo voy sobre el campeón, ¿no? A mí no me importan los demás, <risa> este, pero son, son escalones que tengo que ir escalando. Este, pero quien me digan a mí un hombre, pues obviamente voy sobre el campeón. ¿Cuántas peleas más te quedan antes de que puedas retar por el título, Gabriel? Uh, la verdad no sé. Tengo ahorita en mi contrato... No, 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 la verdad no, no tengo idea no me acuerdo ahorita pero esta es mi décima pelea dentro de la empresa ya tengo 10 peleas dentro de la empresa entonces pues esperamos pelear pronto lo importante es seguir ganando peleas y pues demostrar que somos los mejores de acuerdo, man. gracias Cuídense. gracias